All right, guys. So here is the agency theme that I had made for everyone here in Fusion. And this is an actual website that I use that I paid a lot of money for. And then I had my web developer actually create a template and a guide so that you guys could easily um, upload it and use it. Now, here's the thing. Um, all you need to do is get to the point where you have a WordPress set site set up. If you don't know how to do that, there's other videos in this series where I walk you through the whole process to get to a point where you have WordPress set up. Once you have WordPress set up, then um, you just follow the directions in this video and you'll be able to have this theme um, set up um, in no time at all. So now here's how it works is you basically have a template um, of one of the, the agency sites that I actually use. And then um, in you're going to have a link to this document right here, which is going to walk you through pretty much how to change everything that you possibly could want to change inside the theme. Now, here's what I suggest is if you're just getting started, you know, upload the theme, put your logo on it, put a header on it and just get going. But over time, make, you know, make it your own, add your own pages, add your own content and everything else like that. Now, what's going to happen is you, there's going to be a link to a um, Google Drive where you'll be able to download the theme. Now, there's two options for this theme. There's the free theme, which um, everything that we show you in this video, in this setup video, can be done with the free theme. Um, if you want more options, then you can just get the paid theme, which is only $35. Uh, it's definitely worth getting it, but if you're really tightly strapped, you can just get the, the free one and upgrade later if you want, but everything that we show you, you can do with the free theme. So what's going to happen is I am going to transition. I actually had my web developer walk you through how to upload the theme, um, how to add pages and all that other stuff, because I am not a web developer. Um, and so, um, we have this, we have another SOP that you guys are going to be able to use. Uh, that should walk you through everything you need to know in creating your first, you know, getting that the, the website set up. Um, so here's the one thing I, I will tell you is I am not a web developer. So if you put in sport tickets on how to set up or use the theme, I'm not going to be much help to you. Um, this is pretty comprehensive of everything you need to know. If you're stuck on something, if you can't upload something or you can't get something to work or you need something customized, I suggest you go to Fiverr or Upworks. You could probably get somebody to customize it or do it for you for like 30, 40 bucks. But to get set up, everything else you need is going to be in these videos uh, and in the folder. So that's it. I'll transition and you guys could get started uploading the theme. All right, talk to you later. Hi, and welcome to the WordPress theme installation overview for Fusion Protocol. This is the theme setup for um, Chimera Digital Marketing. Uh, you'll notice it looks very familiar to the Chimera Media site that uh, we have created, uh, as this is the template uh, that is the same one that we used and the same theme that we used for Chimera Media. So you'll notice at the top of my screen, I've got the dashboard of my newly installed uh, WordPress installation. Now, um, you should have already uh, set up your domain in your cPanel and have installed WordPress. So this is actually exactly what it looks like right after you install it. Um, at the top of my screen, you'll also see uh, the documentation for the SKT theme and the SKT theme is the theme that we chose to create um, the Chimera Media site, which is our Fusion template. All right, and what you should see in the Fusion template is the SKT theme setup and guide as well as the theme. So when you go in here in the setup guide, we'll just click in here real quickly, you'll see the agency setup video uh, that we are creating for you. You'll see the link to the SKT uh, guide where you'll have SOPs and uh, videos explaining how to install things like your header, your footer, all that good stuff, um, which I will go over later in this video. 
you have the SKT Fusion Template Guide, which shows you to, how to do exactly what we did um, in the theme. So you can have the same color palettes, all that good stuff. And then this SKT Clean Demo Zip um, is just more of the guide so that you can make this look um, the Chimera Media template if you'd like, or, you know, to, for you to be able to create something unique for yourself. So what we want to do um, is head into the theme. And this is actually what we're going to be working with right here, this SKT Clean Pro Zip. This is going to have your CSS. So when you upload the theme, uh, the WordPress will or WordPress will recognize it as a theme. So we're going to download this. And then we're going to head back over to the Chimera Media or Digital Media site. So the first thing that we want to do when it comes to uh, changing out uh, and changing up the website is we actually want to turn off this coming soon active. Uh, this inhibits us from doing a few things. So we're going to go down to settings, click on general. We're going to scroll down and click on off. And here it is default coming soon page. So um, we don't want to enable it. We want to turn it off. Click save changes. So now we should be able to publish pages once they are created. Now the next thing that we want to do is head over to appearance and themes. Now installing a theme is actually very, very simple. Um, we just want to go over to this plus sign, add new theme. And then we want to go up here to this button called upload theme. Now down here, you'll see if you have a theme in a zip format, you may want to install it by uploading it here. And we'll just drag and drop over choose file. All right. <clears throat> All right, so as you can see, the theme installed successfully. And so now what we want to do is activate the theme. So we're going to head back over to here, click on themes. And here is our SKT Clean Pro theme. And we're going to click activate. And now any pages that we create, any uh, the header, the footer, all of that should be there. It should look exactly like the uh, Chimera media site that you've seen throughout Fusion. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is start adding pages. Uh, now, so on this page, we've got um, a privacy policy, you know, a sample page. Yeah, these are the things that come standard with these themes. Um, but to add a page is very simple. Um, what we want to do is just go to add new up here in the corner. And what WordPress will enable you to do is make it so that uh, you can add headers, you can add blocks of content, uh, that you can add photos, uh, whatever you need for your page, it will enable you to do that. Now there is some software plugins out there that will enable you to do this uh, in a more simplified way as well. Things like WordPress Bakery that uh, enable you to drag and drop sections and add in text or um, like pre built in things like uh, sections for FAQs or uh, bullet points or whatever you would like in that regard. I recommend going for something like a WordPress Bakery plugin that will enable you to drag and drop. But in the meantime for this, Let's just go through what it looks like to add a page. So we'll put sample page two. This is my first page. So what we want to do is preview it. And this is what the page will look like on the site. As you can see, it looks a lot like the pages within the Chimera Media site. Uh, we've got our contact forms, we've got our footer, um, we've got our title with our content, which obviously this would look a lot different with more content in it. Um, we have our header picture. Um, so yeah, this is what it would look like. Um, it's always important to preview your pages, that way you know exactly what your user is going to see when they land on the page. 
So if we head back over to the back end and it's ready, we'll click publish. Um, and then it'll ask us if we're ready to publish. This is where you can determine the visibility, um, private, password protected, etc., and publish immediately, or you can choose a date to publish it. So for that, we're just going to click publish. And now we have our first page. Um, now to when you're going to create pages, on typically when you see a website, you know there's a home page, an about us page, uh, a contact us page, all those things. This is where you would create those pages. So I'm going to create the titles of them uh, quickly so that way we can see in the back end what that will look like. Okay, so as you can see, I have added in these pages. Now I've literally put relatively nothing on these pages, um, but just for the sake of being able to show you how you can go about creating the uh, content to make it look like the website you want it to look like, this is how you would start, uh, just putting in all the content that you want. Now, to make the home page, the home page, the about us page, the about us page, contact us, etc., cetera, um, is what we're going to go into next. So for to do that, we are going to head over to appearance and menus. Um, so now we can create the first menu. Uh, what we want to do is uh, create the menu at the top. So we're going to give this menu a name and we'll just say home page. And then we're going to click create menu. So now we can add menu items. Uh, what we want to do is also click where we want this to be uh, shown and we want this to be the primary menu. Um, and then so we can add in uh, the about us page. So let's click on that. Um, the services page, the packages, the contact us, and uh, we'll even uh, stick the uh, home page in there and we'll click add to menu. And the nice thing too is you can rearrange where these are. Now, for example, let's say uh, I have some things under services that I want to make sure get added. So like say this sample page is uh, SEO services and this other sample page is uh, video marketing. What I'd wanna do is add both of these and I can drag and drop them underneath. So um, I can drag it underneath services and now this is considered a sub item of services. So when you look at the home page, when you click on it, there'll be a little drop down and you'll see sample page one and two. So let's save this menu. So now let's go take a look at the home page. And here is our home page. Looks so nice. So uh, to get to your home page, uh, just if you go to the top of your screen and click visit site, I just happen to open this in a separate tab. So uh, this is what it will look like. Here's the menu we just created. Homepage, packages, contact us, services with our sample pages and about us. Uh, I just wanna go over this real quick uh, because this came in your template, but it has different uh, areas within the site where you can plug in different kinds of content and it's interactive for your user. Uh, and the Chimera Media site, we used a lot of these, a lot of these uh, different sections on the site. Um, and as you can see, some of them we didn't use, but we wanted you to be able to have the option to do things like have a video background, uh, plug in places for your team or your latest works that you're proud of. Um, and to be able to do that, to be able to add in all of these things, this is when you would want to go over to the SKT demo URL that I will get into in just a minute. Okay, so now that you have the basics down with your uh, menu items and creating pages, uh, you're well on your way to creating the content that you need and make your site um, something that is easily navigatable by your viewer. Um, now what I would recommend uh, for the rest of the customization for your site is to head over to this URL 
and it is sktthemesdemo.net. Now, this theme that we chose for Fusion Protocol, we specifically chose it because it has such comprehensive uh, documentation on how to customize your website to make it look exactly how you want. And each of these things will take you through how to set up things like the header um, with your navigation, the slider, which is the pictures moving across the top of a website, um, any page templates, how to set up your blog, uh, how to set up a sidebar, things that you can do for your footer, having a custom background and colors, all those sorts of things that you would want for your website. Uh, each uh, documentation has a video taking you through all the steps on how to do it, as well as a comprehensive SOP that gives you written directions as to how to add those things. So my recommendation is to go to this site right here to set up the rest of your website. And we have that included as well uh, as, and a brief overview of what it is of, of what I just said uh, to be able to help you get there. So that should be it. That is a very, very basic uh, WordPress setup that should take you through uh, some of the basics of being able to create pages and publish them um, as well as setting up your menu. Um, and again, like I said, we recommend heading over to the sktthemes.net uh, to be able to uh, do the rest of your setup.